Here we go. Dodge center caps on a Ford rim. On a Ford, Ford rim. on a Ford factory Econoline rim. And a Ford sticker to go with it. These Ford stickers are raised stickers. You can buy them. Stick them on a center cap. That's an aftermarket, I think a 97 Dodge. Yeah. 250. B, uh, not B250. Uh, 2500. These are the center caps that belong on all of the chrome rim Dodges and some of the black rim Dodges that have the whole slits in them. Well, I stuck them on forward, and this is a full float and rear end, so I have a hub sticking out all the way to the center cap. How did I do this? Well, I put my forward lugs on first, then I put a washer, and believe it or not, the studs are long enough, and I put a Dodge lug nut. I put Dodge lug nuts on here. The Dorman ones. The Dorman lug nuts. Uh, my recommendation is if you try this and then put a stainless steel trim ring and then paint the rim. Paint the rim, of course, it's dirty right now, but paint the rim the same color as the vehicle. Uh, give you the classic wheel look. That's if you want to get away from and have something above average or average. Instead of the saw blade. Instead of the famous Ford Amulance hubcap, which is ridiculous looking. Uh, that's a way to dress up forward stock wheels and then of course your center caps closer here But you can't tell the difference of the space on the road Of the center cap poking out on the rear. That's a stock tire too. Right and so same in the front You put the Dorman lug nuts on there. I believe it or not the lug nuts the Dorman Dodge lug nuts are more expensive Than this whole damn setup. <laughs> it was five bucks a piece. They were five bucks a piece now do that times you know eight per side or eight I'm sorry eight per wheel and you get pretty expensive there really quick so my suggestion to you would be to go to the junkyard and get you some Dodge lug nuts that house these particular and the thread size is exactly the same as your forward thread Don't they got a ring on the outside of those Dodge lug nuts? the Dodge lug nuts have a bulge on the end of the acorn that can't be manipulated except with certain washers and you'd have to get that washer just right to fit in that bevel there's a beveled ring on the inside of of these and to get them off especially when they're close like this and they fit so tightly you use a paint opener take a paint opener with a little key stick it behind here bend it like that and pull and you'll pull the center cap off and then of course you got two sets of lug nuts to take off before you take your wheel off. We'll put it to you this way. Your lug nuts won't back themselves off very easily. So there's no use in going back over them and, and re-tightening them after you've tightened them. And it would give somebody a really hard time stealing your wheel. Uh, that, that's, that's supposed to be funny. You know, you're supposed to laugh at that. But anyway, that's the way to get your Econoline to have a classic look as opposed to... Uh, a uh, traditional Ford hubcap look and that's what we did in this case so I think it turned out all right for now for a stock wheel until we put some aluminum mags on it aftermarket one day and some really wide tires as soon as we can figure out how to bypass this advanced track which says you can't change the tire size or anything it'll give you a big problem uh, so I think we figured out a way to do that. We're going to take each sensor off and put a put a uh, a uh, rubber neoprene rubber buffer between that and the frame, so it won't detect any any uh, wheel size different or road slippage or or anything or a vibration detection. We'll dampen them. Is what we'll do and hook them back up. That might be a way. Of that might be a way of bypassing, bypassing them <laughs> or tricking them. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, all right.